This drink is so powerful at fighting inflammation, it will seriously help you slow down the progression of CKD. Catherine from Double Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kini health. Over the course of years, I've met a lot of people suffering from kini problems. And despite what doctors say, CKD is not a one-way journey for everyone. Some are actually able to improve or at least to stop the progression of the disease. Some even in the advanced stages of CKD. What they are doing is taking care of the most important complications of CKD through good daily habits proven to help. And there are five complications of CKD you have to face and to solve to stop the progression of kidney disease and avoid dialysis. Today, I'll show you the five good habits to do exactly this. Good habit number five, drink one cup every morning to douse the fires of inflammation. Inflammation in our bodies is often brought on by excess bad cholesterol and other lifestyle related issues like high blood pressure and high blood glucose, very common in people with kidney problems. We want to put down these inflammatory flames because they often lead to serious complications such as kidney damage and even heart attacks. One of the fastest ways to fight the inflammation is improving the diet. Eating anti-inflammatory foods such as healthy fats, cruciferous vegetables and antioxidant rich fruits can really help. But there is one superfood that beats them all when it comes to fighting the inflammation. Today, I want to show you a recipe proven to fight inflammation faster and better than anything else. Let's see our first good habit. Number five, drink a cup of this every morning. This recipe is based on a one powerful ingredient, turmeric. Curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, is proven to blunt the effects of the inflammatory molecules and enzymes that causes chronic diseases. It's as powerful as some anti-inflammatory medications, but without the side effects. As a result, drinking this turmeric preparation regularly will really help in reducing kidney damage. What not many people know about turmeric is that it doesn't work if you eat it by itself. Curcumin is very poorly absorbed by the body. You need something that enhances the absorption of curcumin. I may have the perfect recipe here. It's called golden milk and it's 2000% more powerful at fighting the inflammation than just eating regular turmeric. Golden milk is made from some of the most powerful anti-inflammatory spices in the world, curcumin, ginger, and black pepper. Here is my kidney-friendly recipe. We just need almond milk half cup. I prefer almond milk because it's the most kidney-friendly milk alternative you can find. Let's warm it up. Now in a cup, let's combine one teaspoon ground turmeric, 1 4 teaspoon ground ginger, 1 4 teaspoon ground cinnamon, half tablespoon of coconut oil, 1 pinch ground black pepper. If you want to change the recipe, never remove black pepper. The piperine in black pepper is key here. It will make the curcumin in turmeric available to the body. This is how you get the anti-inflammatory health benefits. So guys, share this recipe with anyone you know who may want to improve their heart and kidney health naturally. And this was a powerful good habit, but the other four I want to share today are even better. Our number one in particular is a great tea for the evening. It's not just relaxing, it's proven to help you lower your blood pressure. But before... Our good habit number four fights anemia. Taking care of anemia, which affects most people with kidney disease, is one of the most effective ways to slow down kidney disease and restore some of your kidney function. This is proven by science because anemia doesn't just cause weakness, fatigue, and headaches. It is also associated with a faster decline in kidney function. Here's an easy good habit that helps. 
Good habit number four, add these small fish to your soup. Yes, these fish can effectively fight iron deficiency anemia. This is because it is made of cast iron, specifically engineered to release a healthy dose of iron in your food at every use. So just placing it in a cooking vessel with water during cooking can help your kidneys. So if you're making rice or a stew or anything else that requires water, just add a couple of drops of lemon per liter and this fish in the water. What happens is that it releases around 6 to 8 milligrams of iron per use, which is extremely helpful. Someone with anemia can never get enough iron. And while to get your levels back to normal, you will probably need supplements as directed by your doctor. Adding these to your rice, for example, will be a very easy and cheap way to maintain correct iron levels. Now, this is actually the cheapest way to add more iron because these fishes cost just around $12 each and they last up to five years. Just like iron cast cookware that I also use and recommend, you just need to wash and dry it immediately after cooking and oil it up a bit so it doesn't rust. And the bottom line here is that if you have anemia, you should never underestimate it. Treating correctly can make the difference between restoring kidney function and risking dialysis. And there are other steps you need to take to fight it. I've talked more in depth about anemia in my recent video. It's up here if you have missed it. Time for the next complication we need to solve. This is a seriously underestimated issue people with kidney problems have to face. Lack of sleep. One in three of us suffers from poor sleep and many of them won't believe me when I said that sleeping six hours per night or less is proven to make kidney disease progress faster. But there's a large study that was able to prove the correlation between lack of sleep and kidney damage coronary heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and a shortened life expectancy are all linked to poor sleep. And researchers think that lack of sleep can directly affect the physiology of the kidney, causing serious damage. We need to stop this. If you are sleeping less than six hours per night, there is something that can help. This is a super antioxidant proven to help you sleep better. Number three, take melatonin before bed, the super antioxidant to sleep better. Melatonin is a very cheap but powerful supplement. It really works. According to two reviews of studies, melatonin is very effective in improving sleep quality and duration. It comes with a warning about the dosage though, so be sure to get informed before buying melatonin. More about this in a moment. Now, this is a natural hormone the body produces and uses to regulate the sleep-wake cycle, among other things. As a supplement, melatonin has become a very popular and inexpensive sleeping aid, particularly powerful for people suffering from jet lag or for those age 50 or more. And according to studies, the body production of melatonin is decreased not just with age but also with the progression of CKD. This means the effect of this supplement could be really powerful for someone with kidney problems. Dosing melatonin correctly may completely change your sleeping patterns for the better with great benefit for kidney health. Plus. It's a real super antioxidant with free radical scavenger, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. According to research, melatonin has a powerful kidney protective effect that surpasses the protection offered by sleeping better thanks to its anti-inflammatory property. Now, what you should know about melatonin is that not all the dosage you may find for sale are safe. As you may see from my slide, the correct daily dose for melatonin is between 0.5 mg and 5 mg taken half hour before bed. It's a very large range of dosages and for most people 0.5 grams is the right dosage. Yes, that is half a milligram. Now, 
The problem is that most brands sell it in 5, 10 and even 15 milligrams dose. Do not take melatonin in these dosages, especially if you are 50 years old or more. Many studies were done on melatonin and evidence determined that 0.5 mg was the best dose. People given doses around 0.5 mg slept better than those given 3 mg or more and had fewer side effects. While higher doses can't hurt you except from making you sleep worse, my advice here is to start with a lower dose and increase it only if you really need it to. For example, if you wake up at 5 a.m., that could mean your dose is too low. So the bottom line about melatonin is that it is safe and effective to improve sleep quality and kidney health. Just be careful with the dosage and, as usual, consult your doctor before adding it to your regime. A question guys, what's your favorite way to sleep better? What's working for you? Let's talk about it in the comment section. Time for our number two now. A really powerful good habit you could start right now to slow down kidney disease progression is taking care of the gut microbiome. I'm talking about the trillions of microorganisms that live in your gut and that your body and kidneys absolutely need for kidney function, heart health, weight control, and many other aspects of health. Number two, eat probiotic rich foods regularly. This very appetizing preparation is called kimchi and it's a Korean delicacy. This one is a powerful help for the health of our gut and kidneys. Kimchi boasts an extensive array of proven benefits. It may be especially effective when it comes to lowering cholesterol and reducing insulin resistance. And obviously, being made from fermented cabbage, its main benefit is the unique probiotic profile. Very healthy for the kidneys. If you have been taking medications, antibiotics, but also if you have gone through a stressful period, if you're not sleeping well, or if you suffer from heartburn, constipation, chances are that your gut health is already out of balance. And that's very dangerous. I always talk about vitamins here and how much they can help, but did you know that essentially all vitamin absorption occurs in the small intestine? Someone with a seriously compromised gut health may suffer from vitamin deficiencies even if they take supplements every day. This is why having unhealthy gut can even damage the kidneys. Also, when there aren't enough good bacteria in the gut, those missing bacteria are going to be replaced by other potentially dangerous bacteria. Another way to help is drinking kombucha regularly. This is a tasty fermented tea that's the best friend of your gut because it boasts a generous quantity of beneficial kombucha oh, is yeah, made by adding specific strains of bacteria, yeast and sugar to black or green tea, then allowing it to ferment for a week or more. This fermentation provides your gut with healthy probiotics and as we have seen, this can really help. Other foods known to help include sauerkraut, tempeh, and at a certain degree even apple cider vinegar. Never underestimate your gut health. It can make the difference between improving kidney health and risking dialysis. It's time to talk about the most powerful good habit to avoid dialysis. This one is all about your heart health. Heart and kidney problems have several similar symptoms, similar causes and similar treatments. The reason is that they're part of the same system and it's scientifically proven that if you want your kidneys to improve, you should take care of your heart health. In fact, so many patients with kidney problems are told to watch their blood pressure, their triglycerides and cholesterol. The reason is simple. The kidneys are an incredibly complex and powerful organ and like any fine machinery, they require perfect parameters to work. In fact, they're made to function with a resting blood pressure below 120 over 80. And while cutting back on foods loaded with fat and sugar, limiting consumption of sodium, 
and adopting a healthy lifestyle is the best way to make this happen. There is also one home remedy that can help. Number one is this wonderful looking and delicious tea called hibiscus tea. Research has uncovered a range of health benefits linked to drinking hibiscus tea. It's a really powerful way to lower blood pressure naturally. Actually, a 2015 review of five studies found that hibiscus tea decreased both systolic and diastolic blood pressure of participants significantly. Yes, this is just a design made from dried flowers, not a pill. Amazing! Guys, a very interesting new video is coming next Friday and I really hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. Thank you for watching.